OK, so let's look at the random built in variable and see how we can use it. When we reference the random variable, a pseudo random number is generated. The range of numbers that random can produce are between 0 and 32,767. We can change the seed value of our random number generator by assigning a value of our choice to our random variable. Just remember, as the numbers that are generated are pseudo random, if we can control the seed value or know what it is, we can predict the numbers that will be generated. As you can see, when we reset the seed value to 3, the numbers that have been generated are exactly the same as before, so they're not so random. This is why using this random variable would be a bad choice for randomly generating encryption keys. But that doesn't make it useless for other purposes. In fact, it can be very useful for a number of purposes. Let's start off by generating a random number within a range of 0 to 10. So if we take our random number generated by random and divide it by 10, we will get a whole number. But what we are really interested in is if there is a remainder and what is it. So we can use modulo to give us the remainder. We can see how this will give us a number within our range by doing a couple of examples. If, for example, we want our range to be from 0 to 10, we will take our number and mod 10 it. So let's choose 10. And as you can see, the result is 0 as there is no remainder, because 10 divided by 10 is 1 with no remainders. Now let's choose 19, and the number that we get back is 9, so still within our range. If we now try it with 20, we get 0, so we never reach 10 in our range. If you wanted to include 10 in the range of random numbers that we get, all you need to do is increment your range value by 1. So instead of modding by 10, we will do it by 11. That way, any of the numbers that we get back will be between 0 and 10, but include 10. If we wanted our range to be from 1 to 10 and include 10, all we need to do is add 1 to our random number and mod by 10. So if we do 1 plus random mod 10, our range will be from 1 to 10. If we wanted to have a range selected at random that will either be 0 or 1, we could just do random mod 2. That will guarantee that we only get random results that are either 0 or 1. And if we wanted to replicate a dice roll, we could do 1 plus random mod 6, which would give us a range of random numbers from 1, 2 and including 6. This starts to get a little more complex if, say, we wanted to generate a random number within a range that doesn't start at 0, or requires a shift of 1, as we have previously done. Let's say that we wanted to generate a random number that is in the range of 1000 to 1500 we would actually need to create a loop to check that the value we are creating meets our given criteria. So let's dive in and create this. First, we're going to echo the result of our command substitution as we're going to use command substitution to do the meet of the generation. So first, we will need a variable that will represent our number and initialize it to zero. And next, we will need a variable that's going to represent our lower bound, which is 1000. So let's call that floor. And we will also need a variable to represent our upper bound, and let's call that range. Now we can create our loop. So while our number is less than our floor, do number equals random. We could have used less than instead of less than or equal to if we wanted our range to include a thousand as a number. As we are assigning a new value to our number variable, we don't need the dollar sign in front of it. Next, we want to mod our random number by our range, but we also want the result of that to be assigned to our number. So when this while loop goes for its next iteration, we can check if our randomly generated number is less than or equal to our floor value. And if it is, then this process will repeat until we get a number that is within our range. So we are going to use the built in let command to do this modding and assignment to our number variable. All that is left now is to close off this while loop body with done and echo our number variable from outside the while loop as this will now be a random number within the range 1000 to 1500. We know that random is limited to generating numbers up to 32,767, but what if we needed a larger number? 
Let's say that we wanted a six digit number. Well, we can restrict our random numbers to be from zero to nine as we've done previously. So we can use that to construct larger numbers. So let's make a six digit random number. So our first digit will be one plus random mod nine as we don't want a zero as our first digit. And if we get 10, then our digit now becomes a seven digit number instead of our intended six digit number. Our subsequent digits will be generated with just random mod 10 as zero to nine is a range that we're after for those digits. Just remember that you don't want spaces in between your command substitutions as you'll get an error. Also, this will only generate numbers that are six digits long and not in a range from zero to a six digit number. Okay, so I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.